And thanks everyone for um, for inviting me here today. So um, yes, I'm Jamie Bill. I'm from the Ada Community Library, um, which consists of four libraries in the Treasure Valley. We have one in Star, um, at, one up at Hidden Springs, and Victory and Lake Hazel areas. But um, yeah, we have we happen to live in Treasure Valley, where we have a lot of different libraries. Um, we're very fortunate to have a lot of different libraries. But today I'm going to present on information for our library, um, just kind of get you connected and um, to, to our various resources. Um, but I'll kind of go over other uh, other um, libraries information as well. And the consortium like Boise Public Library is probably where a lot of people are coming from. Um, so I wanted to touch on our collections. Um, if you're not familiar, we do have um, a lot of traditional items, right? Like DVDs, books, um, CDs, things like that. But some people um, aren't aware that we have a lot of non-traditional items in our collection that are available for checkout. Um, it doesn't matter which library card you're holding from the um, Treasure Valley, you can put um, our items on hold. You can come into our library, pick up those items, those non-traditional items, such as an outdoor um, a tent. You can check out tents. You can check out snowshoes. Um, you can check out uh, play gear, which consists of um, things like uh, croquet sets, um, things like that, fun lawn games. Um, the tech section, we have uh, Roku's that have Disney Plus on them. So let's say you don't want to um, get the Disney Plus uh, membership yet. Yeah, you just want to try it out. Well, you can check it out at our library. You can get on the, um, the list to, um, to check that out. We have Fitbits. We have yoga mats. A lot of really cool items um, that you wouldn't normally think you could check out, but we have them. We also have something called the grab and go bag right now. So if you have um, people in your family that really love mysteries or sci-fi, we have bags that have contain 10 to 15 items with um, around that theme. So this works really well with kids. If you have kids that like, um, that wanna learn about shapes, numbers, letters, um, they can check out a bag that has all of that um, in it for the day. And, uh, oh, and I know that um, a lot of the libraries in the Treasure Valley also have uh, non-traditional items. So if you're looking for those at your library, you can, you can find those as well. And then right now we're doing contactless services. So we've um, pivoted to just a curbside service where you can call us or you can put things on hold with your card on our website and you can pick up, um, call and pick up all of your items and we just bring them out, it's contactless. You just, you can pick them up in a bin um, at our library. We also have a home delivery service. So um, it's geared towards people who are homebound, not able to get into the library, not able to get out. Um, we can bring those items that you wanna put on hold um, to your door. We can also pick those items up when, they're, when you're finished with them. We have a personal shopper. Um, so if you want to just put in a request on our website, there's a form or you can give us a call. We can ha actually have someone go out and find items for you and put those to curbside or home delivery. Um, so if you wanted, you know, a, if you love mysteries, just call us up and we'll, we'll go and find a whole bag of mysteries for you or just a couple mysteries, however many you want and get those out to curbside. We also have limited library browsing, so you can come in for 15 to 30 minutes to browse. It's one family at a time, so we're being very cautious. And we have virtual assistance. That's just traditional reference. If you have a research question, um, like my daughter who's 15, you know, she can call in and get help with homework. Um, she has an assignment, we can help uh, find the resources for her to do her homework. And we have, computer availability. So if you um, your printer's not working for the day and you're kind of in a jam, you can you can make that 
browsing appointment or that computer appointment and um, be here in the library from anywhere to 20 to 120 minutes. So when you do make a computer appointment, you have access to the copier, the printer, the scanner, and then you can also make a tech coach appointment. Please let people know. Um, I'm one of the tech coaches. You can call, um, you can make the appointment if you need help with Microsoft Word, if you need help getting an ebook, anything you can think of that you um, are just have, having um, problems with your technology, um, give us a call. We can help walk you through that. We have digital collections. This is every library in the Treasure Valley. They, they uh, belong to this, um, this kind of uh, book collection that they, they all have um, digital collections. Um, it's called Overdrive or Libby. Um, I have some links for that. If you are missing out on that and you don't know what that is, it's amazing. Um, you, if you like reading books um, using uh, your device, um, you like reading ebooks, you like listening to audiobooks. Um, you can get um, them for free through the libraries. We can help you walk walk you through that. That's like one of those things you can call about and say, how do I get an ebook? We can help you get one on your device, your iPad, your iPhone, um, your Android, anything like that. And then we have um, streaming. So you can do Canopy, which are, are movies. Um, they have the Criterion Collection on there. Um, you can do all of this with your libra library card for free. Um, great courses, college level courses um, that you can watch on through Canopy. Um, and then Freegal is a music streaming app. You get free downloads and free streaming. And if you're, this is specific to Ada Community Libraries, but Meridian, um, Boise, they all have their own streaming services. I think they have Hoopla, something called Hoopla, which is just as good. And then I wanted to talk about databases because a lot of people don't know um, what databases are even, or that we have them if they do know. Um, a lot of us saw them in college, um, but we do have access to them. Um, a lot of you know databases think of like when you were doing research. Um, and you needed like peer reviewed articles. We have stuff like that, but we, databases that we also have that are kind of cool are the um, pronunciator. So if you're trying to learn a language, um, that will walk you through that. We have creative bug, that's for um, like tutorials on how to do a certain craft. Tutor.com is amazing. So if you have kids in your life, um, they can, uh, with their library card, they can get access to an online tutor for absolutely free. It's amazing. My daughter uses it for math. If they're stuck and they're in a jam, they can um, get online and that person will walk them through a math problem or an English problem. Um, it's amazing. And then genealogy, we have web, uh, a lot of databases for that as well. And so does Boise and Meridian and other smaller libraries in the consortium. So we have library programming. Um, this was where you know the library used to be a very big community center for people to come in and engage with one another by learning together. Um, uh, and we're not able to do that. So we're doing um, certain virtual programs. We have Self Care Sunday. You can watch that on our YouTube. You can stream it. It's available 24-7. Um, just ways to tips to to just take care of yourself and we also have taken makes which are really popular even with adults like they, they took off because kids really wanted um, hands-on interactive materials to do alongside curriculum for school so you come and you pick up a kit at the library say for example it has you know um, a project a craft that they can do um, and now adults are really getting into it. So you can pick up like a, um, a certain project from the library. You can just call and say, I'd like a take and make kit. We put it out to curbside and you just take it home and you can watch a video on how to make it. Um, but you have all of those materials that we provide for you. And so last, we I kind of want to touch on outreach. Um, we do go out into the community that is part of um, 
our strategic goal is to um, provide equitable service to people who cannot reach a library. So we're bringing them books. We're talking about the library. We're doing that library programming out in the world. We have other things that we can teach people. We've taught how to sign up for an ebook, how to get on online and, um, and get that ebook onto your device or how to get onto that tutor.com, things like that, how to do research. If there's something you're thinking that the library would make a nice fit for an outreach project, we would love to hear from you. And so thank you very much. Um, hopefully we will see you in the library 